guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with a special guest, my sister Helen. Yeah. If you've seen my vlogs, then you would have seen her on my channel. So you'll know who she is. If you haven't, this is my sister Helen. So because my Disney vlogs have now ended, I'm doing a Disney kind of like, would you call it a planning series or like, I yeah. don't know. Yes, it's, it's to help people make more informed decisions when they're planning their trips. Planning videos. Um, so today we are doing our top five table service restaurants in Disney World and we've only eaten at table service restaurants last year so these are all restaurants we've been to on our last holiday so you've probably seen them if you've watched all my vlogs. But we're going to get right on into it and I hope you enjoy. So for my number five I have chosen the Whispering Canyon Cafe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like your reaction there. And we don't know each other's by the way, so we have no idea what each other's gonna say. Big surprise. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I chose the Whispering Canyon Cafe because one, I really, really love the man. <laughs> I knew that was gonna be the first thing. <laughs> it's so amazing. It was pretty good. It's incredible. It's the first time we tried cornbread and it's basically cake. Yeah. <laughs> Which is cool. But our waitress was hilarious. I'll leave the vlog link down below, but it was absolutely hilarious because she was like, picking on you and Amy and it was just so funny. The two people I wanted her to pick on, she did it. <laughs> ah, good for something at least. <laughs> but the food was really, really good. We had, what did we have? It was like um, the skillet. Skillet with all the different pasta. meats. Yeah, it had a ton of different meats, mashed potato, beans, vegetables, vegetables, all that kind of stuff. And then we couldn't manage dessert, so we got like takeaway dessert, which was okay. It wasn't the best dessert ever. Did you even eat yours? No, I didn't. Because too much food in Disney. They had really good milkshakes. Oh yeah, they did have really good milkshakes. The one thing I will say though, they were bombless milkshakes, which means they can be refilled over and over again. We didn't get another refill. So that was the one downside, but I really liked the Spring Canyon Cafe. To be fair, if we did have had another refill, I think considering how full we already were, we'd have probably finished. <laughs> so my number five is Coral Reef. Mm -hmm. I really um, enjoyed the food. I, I think I trout and it was so, so good. The only reason it probably wasn't higher was because of how far away we were from the actual aquarium. So we were like in the get, back corner. Yeah, pretty much as far as you could get. So we didn't actually get a good view. We could see some of like the bigger fishes and the bigger fishes, the bigger fishes. <laughs> but I think when you go to somewhere like Coral Reef, you do want to be close to the aquarium. Yeah, I think you can request a table closer, but because of how big a group we were, we'd have probably have had some trouble. Four that day, were well, yeah. yeah. But um, the food that there was a little gorgeous like chocolate. Um, oh, that chocolate cake! Yeah, that was so good. That was good. It was. That's I... what bumped it up a bit to make it onto the list. <coughs> I'm dying here. I had um, oh, what was it called? It was like a um, seafood paella. Um, Not paella. Was it like, like pastry? Yeah, like spaghetti or. I can't really remember. I can just remember the scallops being massive. <laughs> so it's really nice if you like fish and seafood mm. and all that kind of stuff. For my number four, I feel like this one might surprise Helen because it's Be Our Guest. <laughs> and it's like the one that we've booked to go back, well, one of the ones that we've booked to go back to this year. Mm. And it's only my number four. Yeah, I'd have expected you to place maybe a little bit higher. Because I mean, I love the atmosphere like it's so good it just looks incredible yeah and we've eaten in the um the grand ballroom if that's what you call it both times and it's so beautiful and you feel like you're in the movie mm -hmm. and i just love it um the reason i placed it lower i think the food for lunch i actually preferred really yeah no. i mean i had that seafood thing i did really enjoy it but it wasn't one of my favourite meals. And then I wasn't overly fussed with the grey stuff. <gasps> oh my god, no, the grey stuff. It's delicious. <laughs> no, the grey stuff was amazing. <laughs> no, it's, it's cookies and cream, isn't it? Yeah. And it's good. I like cookies and cream. And it tasted okay. I feel like it was more the hard shell brownie. Yeah, the brownie was too hard. And I'm used to like really good brownies. So I was quite you disappointed. Probably, you probably like it more now where they've changed it to the cupcake. Yeah, it's not, it's like a, um, no, it's like kind of, I 
don't really know how to explain it. It's not a cupcake, it's like a torte or something. I don't okay. know. But it looks different. I'll but try that. I like the triple chocolate cupcake more than we had the quick service. You can meet the beast, and that's pretty cool because that's the only place you can meet him in Disney. It's my number four. It's Whispering Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it number four? Because the food is so good. Yeah, so it's pretty much all the reasons you said, like the amazing food. It was just sort of the atmosphere, like it was just a, it was a good jokey atmosphere. I think we just yeah. had, we had a good experience with that waitress um, and the milkshakes. <laughs> so good. I can't really comment on the pudding as I missed out, but it it was just a good place. Just I think if you when you have the skillet between everyone, just it's that was a good idea to get for the table. Yeah. It's really good. That mashed potatoes. <laughs> For my number three, I have chosen Via Napoli. <laughs> I really enjoyed Via Napoli. And you just look very low. Oh, okay. I really, really enjoyed the food at Via Napoli. Like, I've never been able to order a melon and prosciutto pizza anywhere in my life. So it was really cool to have something different because I love melon and prosciutto together. So it was really, really good. And I loved my desserts. I had the um, Zapoli. Oh, okay. You went, all went for like the boring sorbet thing. Sunday. Um, whatever. Yeah, sort of Sunday. Gelato. Gelato. Got the Italian. Got the Italian. <laughs> Zapoli. Yeah, but I think I'll, from the pizza I was full, so I just sort of went for the one of the yeah. last options for oh, dessert. That Zapoli though was really, really good. The pizza's really good. It's not the best pizza I've ever had. Mm, but, but because of how different <clears> it was like. Yeah, it was different. Um, I wish we kind of were in the main room because they have the um, the pizzas where they actually make them and I would like to see them. Oh, I did that. Yeah. But we were like in the side room. It kind of looked like a conservatory. <laughs> there was a bit of a wait for it, so keep that in mm. mind. We did have a later reservation though, didn't we? Yeah. To be fair, I think when, when you're at Epcot, if you go for later reservations, you, you are generally waiting. Yeah. To be fair, most of the parks. Most places. <laughs> but um, we probably waited for... Half an hour. Yeah. So my number three is be our guest. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I I obviously enjoyed it more <clears> than you. I definitely <throat> definitely um, loved the great stuff. And I think what I have, I had pork chop. It was really really good. Probably one of the best pork chops I've ever had. And it was it was just nice. Like I I love the atmosphere in there. It's just amazing. I tell you what as well. We didn't wait that long for it, did we? No, literally like five minutes, if that. It was just great. We, but we need to try a different room. That's my only thing, just be our guest. Yeah. So we think we've got the same one and two. So our number two, we're going to say at the same time. You were going to say <laughs> if, it If they're, they're going to be different now, <laughs> <laughs> that'd be funny. <laughs> Raglan Road! <laughs> Three, two, one. Trattoria Al Forno. <laughs> Yay, we got it right. <laughs> we really enjoyed this place. To be fair, that was a good one because we originally were going to go to um, Tokyo Dining. Yeah. But um, we checked the menu like a couple weeks before and seen that they'd um, got rid of the bento box. <laughs> like, we all wanted that. That was the only reason we were mm -hmm. going. So we were looking just to see what was there and Trattoria Al Forno was just quite, it was close by. Yeah, it had a good close. menu. Yeah, you can walk from Epcot, you can go through the International Gateway between France and the UK. Yeah. So you can just walk through there. And it was just so good. It's one that I think people tend to overlook because it's, I don't know, it's just not one that I hear people talking about. No. Ever. I suppose because it's, cause it's <coughs> not being in the parks as well. Yeah, but that still. That sort of limits people. And then I feel like people don't know that they can get to it from Epcot. Maybe. But then it's like places like the yachts and beaches and cream and everything like people know about those I suppose but um i mean it's become more popular recently because they've introduced like a tangled theme breakfast but the dinner was so good what did you have it was like braised <coughs> braised beef with spaghetti and um sauce mm. it was so good i had the um it was the chicken parmesan parmesan i'm going all mm -hmm. american parmesan <laughs> um and it was so good I, I found a love for chicken parmesan on this holiday. I don't know how to say it now. Um, <laughs> Every time you do, it's a different one. Yeah. <laughs> parmesan. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was so, so good. It was like a chicken parmesan with melted cheese, obviously. Parmesan. Parmesan. Cheese. 
um, and it was like on pasta which was a bit different but the chicken was so so good and then for dessert I had zapoli again <laughs> I'm obviously a big fan of zapoli so so good it looked like chicken nuggets but it was so good and you like dip it into you have three sauces so you have like chocolate raspberry and I think it was like a toffee or a salted caramel or something like caramel. that um yeah and it's, it's just like I guess little mini bits of donut or something mm, yeah it's why. probably the best way to say yeah. it yeah and what did you have for dessert um I had some chocolatey thing oh, yeah, I can't remember what I was called but it's really really <laughs> nice I just remember I am eating the flour off the plate. Oh yeah, <laughs> she ate the actual flour. It's hilarious. That's on video as well. But another thing that was really good about this place is probably we had the best service. Mm, definitely. All holiday, like, oh I just, I wish I remembered so her name. name. I feel bad that we don't. I don't think I ever even looked at what her name was, which is really bad. But um, she was so, so good and yeah, she had my experience. And then our number one, I'm pretty yeah. certain, 127,000 <laughs> percent certain that we have the same one. We'll say it, three, two, one. Ohana's. Yay. Ohana's is like the best place the best on Disney ever. property ever. I know some people aren't too fussed with it, but I know a lot of people who are fussed with it. <laughs> so yeah, we went to Ohana's on our first very full first, night. Yeah, our full, first full day's night. I just made that more it, it set it set the expectations up really high mm. for the holiday which probably wasn't quite <laughs> quite so good because yeah, then everything just went yeah. well not necessarily it, it, was, but. it wasn't as good but it was everything was still good but i feel yeah. it just set it just set it too high yeah because when we went in we got a table right at the front by the window in the middle with a view of the magic kingdom and then probably about 15 minutes after we sat down oh, yeah. the electrical pageant thing started right on the Seven Seas Lagoon. Yeah. So that was interesting. I was like, wait, why is there a dragon out there? <laughs> um, and then probably about half an hour after that, Wishes started and they streamed the music into the restaurant and you can see the fireworks and it's so magical and amazing. You just had the best view. Yeah. And the food. Oh. oh. Started with the... It was bread. bread. We, we tried a little bit. I didn't. Because... Well, you didn't. Everyone else, I, I think I just literally had a bite or two because I just knew there was going to be so much food and, it was, and I'd heard <laughs> such good things about it that I didn't want to fill up. Yeah. The bread was okay. It wasn't anything special, special. But mm, I, I, I'd happily leave it just to fill up on all the other stuff I yeah. really, really love. The um, salad was next. I tried some uh, of the salad. Uh, yeah, probably. I liked the salad. It was good, but I, prob I think I, I was at the stage where I just wanted to to save myself for the other stuff coming. Yeah. So I had a bit. In terms of like salad, I'm really fussy when it comes to salad and I really like that salad. So. That says something. Yeah. And then the next thing, it was like a platter. Mm. Noodles, vegetables, pot, stick pot stickers, mm. chicken wings. <laughs> All of that was so, so <clears> good. <throat> My favorite pot stickers. Mm. I don't know. Pot stickers. Well, I love the vegetables, but <laughs> but I do know the pot stickers and the chicken wings were so so good that I don't think I could pick a favourite. <laughs> and then they come round with skewers of meat and shrimp, and they just skewer it down. Yeah. So the meat was like? chicken or beef steak. 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 Chicken steak, steak and chicken. shrimp. <clears throat> meat, and chicken, and steak was the mm. steak. Oh, so so good. I'm not a big shrimp person anyway. The shrimp was okay. I feel like if you're more into shrimp, you probably like yeah. it. Yeah. But just poor shrimp. <laughs> but oh my god, the chicken and beef just was. Yeah. My favourite was the steak. My least favourite was the shrimp, and I do really love like seafood and everything. Mine was very burnt though. And we also got lays. Oh yeah. Got a little freebie. Yep. Um, the woman who was going around. Yeah. With a ukulele. <laughs> ding 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 ding. Um, and yeah, we waited a while for it though. I it keep was. that in mind. If you want to go to Ohana's, it's like it was. You're probably waiting half hour, forty minutes. I'd say. Yeah. I, I suppose minutes. it depends what time. Because theirs was quite a late yeah. reservation. I think half eight, nine. Two, yeah. Half eight. But I booked it knowing that the fireworks were on at ten, and, and there'd be a wait. That there would be quite a big wait. So I'd say if you want to see the fireworks, make your reservation at least an hour before. 
the fireworks start because you probably are going to be waiting around a while. <laughs> um, just to keep that in mind. But it's so good and it was the best experience um, ever. There's one thing you haven't said. What? The pudding. Oh, how did I, I forget don't get it? it? <laughs> That's why I was like, it was pretty, um, that was like oh. probably the, maybe the best. Oh, it was it's not joint with the steak. No. It was the best thing about Ahana's. Which, for you to say that on bread and butter pudding, it was just amazing. Because I'm a chocolate pu pudding person. Chocolate pudding person. Or donut. Tea. Or donut. Yeah. Um, and it's the best dessert I've ever had. And I can just remember it so vividly. Mm. And I'm just craving it right now. They just put it on your table and then they pour the sauce over the top. So those are our top five table service restaurants in Walt Disney World. When we go back this year, we'll have a whole new selection of restaurants to choose from as well. We'll probably have to do this again next yeah, year. Yeah, I wonder how many from this year will be included. Still. Yeah. Thank you to Helen for being in my video. You'll see her in next week's video when we'll be doing our top five counter service restaurants in Walt Disney World. So give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed it let me know what other disney videos you want to see in the coming weeks <laughs> and i will see you in my next video bye